My name is Sora Tasugare. I'm a second year student at a local university. My hobbies are reading and drinking alcohol. Reading while drinking is my soothing time. Well, I'll do my best in today's lecture too. I sit down in a large lecture hall and take out a notebook from my bag. Then, I felt a tap on my shoulder and turn around. Ah, good morning, Temma. Temma Rurikawa smiled. He has a fleeting aura and is my dear friend. I met Temma through volunteer work. I'm currently taking notes for people with special abilities, and Temma uses my notes. So, I basically take notes for students with hearing issues. I try to concisely summarize what the professor and students are talking about. When I have free time, I attend lectures with Temma as a note taker. Thanks for your help today too, Sora. Oh, you have a bad head. Temma typed with his long slender fingers. I held my head as I read those lines. Ah, oh, shut up. I slept in. Temma can read lips to a certain extent. So I always try to look at him in the face and talk to him, no matter how embarrassing it is. Damn, he's definitely amused. Oh, Tasugata senpai While I was chatting with Temma until the lecture started, I heard an unpleasant voice calling my name. You, why are you here? My girlfriend insisted, so I came with my girlfriend. He's Tsuneo Goda. He's one year younger than me and lives nearby. He can be called a childhood friend, but we're not close at all. No way. Were we going to the same uni? Next to Goda was a woman in flashy clothing that I didn't know. When her eyes met mine, she smiled under her mask. Good morning, Sora. Huh? Can't you tell? I was your GF until yesterday. Ugh, how terrible. When she took off the mask, I realized that she was a woman I knew very well. Huh? Nako? What's wrong with that look? I mean, wait, until yesterday? Her name is Nako Horafuki. Note for the viewers, Horafuki means liar. She used to be quiet and had black hair. She confessed her feelings to me shortly after we entered uni. I opened my heart to her right away, as we had a common hobby of reading. However, I hate to say this, but I could tell she didn't really like books. Nako, how did you like the book the other day? Uh, yeah. It was very interesting. That scene in particular, I was moved to tears. Well, I just read the comments online. Apparently, it was all a lie to get closer to me. I was completely fooled. Sorry. This is the real me. I liked your face, so I approached you and tried to suit your tastes. But I reached my limit. You were boring. <laughs> then, Suneo-kun took me to a club. It was so much fun! I'm sorry, I stole your girlfriend. It seems like she faked herself to date me, and then she got bored and decided to break up with me one-sidedly. Temma was just sitting next to us watching her exchange. He slowly typed something on his laptop and turned the screen towards them. Huh? What? Huh? Nako showed her anger, so I panicked and looked into the screen. Sora, you have terrible taste in women. He's given them body blows in writing. What is this guy? I don't want someone who can't hear to tell me that. Huh? Hey, apologize to Temma. Huh. On top of your boring reading hobby, you even started volunteering? That's seriously a lame, you hypocrite. Nako one-sidedly yelled at me and laughed and Goda chased after her. I tried to chase after them, but Temma stopped me. <laughs> I guess I made them angry. You really have a nice personality. I like that though. Temma confronted Nako with those words in that scene. He probably read most of her interactions. That means Nako's heartless words too. I'm sorry, Temma. My heart tightened at Temma's kindness as he pretended to not understand what was going on. Phew, 
It's calling here after all. After finishing my lectures at dusk, I came to a nostalgic place. When I was little, I used to come here by myself with books. It was my favorite place at the time. It wasn't really about how Nako looked or anything. I thought I liked her for being kind. She listened to me with a smile and said it was fun. It was all just an act. It was a lie. What the heck? It's pretty harsh. I don't want to see reality right now. When I gently closed my eyes, I found myself falling into a dream. Sora, read this book next. The name of the friend I met by chance at this park is you. Even though I didn't fit in at school, I somehow became friends with her. You know, I'm still not good at reading, but Sora, you're good at reading. Read it to me. After saying that, she handed me a sign language book. Even if I can read, that doesn't mean I understand sign language. I was confused. Still, you begged, so I smiled. I felt happy. <laughs> then one day, while I was waiting for her, you came over with tears streaming down her face. Today, I wanted to read a storybook with you. My mom bought it for me, but... The book you was holding was Prince of the Sky, which we had always wanted to read. However, there was heartless graffiti on the cover, and the pages were torn to pieces. You, who has always loved heroes and is strong and energetic, suddenly cries out loud. Was I asleep? That was a nostalgic dream. I met my friend Yu here when I was young. They were probably having horrible days at school. Back then, the feeling of getting lost in the world of books was just so fun, and I enjoyed spending time with them. I wonder where they are, and what they're doing now. I hope they're doing well. The next day, although my mind became a little calmer for a bit, the bitter reality is still the same. Shall we go home together today too? Yesterday was fun. You're so really cute. Aww. Snail-kun! I want to go to a different club today. Nako, my ex, and Goda, my junior, are openly flirting with each other. I see them all the time on campus. Maybe they're showing off to me on purpose. Then, I felt my arm being pulled from the side. It seemed like the other person was unsteady. Hey, Tema! Why are you walking around with your eyes closed? It's dangerous! I pat Tenma on the cheek, hoping to get him to open his eyes. Then, grumpy eyes opened. Then, Tenma sends a message to my phone. Looking at those people makes me feel like my luck is going away. Also, my good mood. Hey, but you're an idiot for walking around with your eyes closed. Stop it! It's dangerous! <laughs> oh, are you okay? I'm sorry, your book! Surprisingly, she was a beauty pageant winner. When I hurriedly picked up her book, I saw Sora Tasugare written on the spine of her book. What? Uh, what? Why do you have this? Huh? Is this? Oh, um, maybe you. Ha have you ever read a slightly scary book in the park and ended up being yourself? <laughs> How do you know that? Uh, uh, I mean. Why mention that all of a sudden? She's telling the truth. Plus, I did it in front of my friends. It's a past I don't want to remember. I knew it! I thought maybe it was you. You look like how you were back then. You, you mean how I was when I peed in my pants? <laughs> After all, nothing has changed. Long time no see, Sora. Huh? I'm confused by her being friendly. I don't remember ever knowing such a beautiful woman. Hey, hey, what's going on? Why is the most beautiful girl in school talking to him? And at the same time, Goda, who had come to say something sarcastic to me, witnessed it. <sighs> I guess you still don't recognize me. Well, it can't be helped. Um? Tema was staring at her. Then, he patted me on the back. 
Yeah, I know. Um, if you don't mind, would you like to go out for dinner? Please allow me to apologize for bumping into you. Oh, of course. With pleasure. I wanted to apologize to her, but I was also curious how she knew me. Tenma sensed that and sent me a signal saying, go for it. She was free tonight, so Tenma made a reservation right away. Wow! I can't believe there was such a wonderful restaurant near the campus! After the lecture, we visited a book bar that Tenma had reserved for us. There are many books lined up on the walls of the store, and you can read while enjoying a drink. This is my favorite place. I'm glad you liked it. Um, well, I'm sorry. Huh? Why do you apologize? I've been thinking about it all day, but I can't remember ever meeting someone as beautiful as you. Hmm, I see. I guess that peeing story wasn't enough. Or maybe you peed in your pants so many times that it was nothing special when you did it in front of me? No, no! Don't make such a story up! <laughs> then I'll give you one more special hint. She said, pointing to the books on the bookshelf. That's my favorite book. Huh? Just as I was about to remember her, the bar door opened and a man entered. Hey, Tetsugata Senpai! What a coincidence! Snail Goda spots us and approaches us. His behavior makes me think that he's been following me. Hey, aren't you Yuhi Asahina? The beauty patient winner! Well, well, I wanted to get close to you. Goda, what on earth do you want? Even though you're dating Nako, are you hitting on her? Eh, I'll give her back to you if you like. I accomplished my purpose of stealing a girlfriend from you. Huh? You... Did you approach Nako just for that? Of course! My mom has always been all about you! We've always lived in the same neighborhood, and it was also in the countryside where rumors spread quickly. Goda's mother was praising me a lot back then. So you were toying with her? Didn't Nako trust you? Heh! Are you worried about the woman who has been deceiving you for so long? As expected of a hypocrite! Hey, Asahina-san! Why don't you choose me over such a lame guy? I'll never make you regret it. I'm sorry, but I refuse. Absolutely fucking not! I've been thinking of only one guy for a long time. He has been the only hero for me. Giving me a place to belong when I was bullied all the time. Those words helped me connect the dots. I have always loved you, Sora Tasugare. My best friend, my hero, the person I love with all my heart. W -w why such a boring guy? I can definitely make you happier. I decide who I want to love. Plus, a true man doesn't ask a woman out like that. Your words are so shallow and mean nothing to me. I'll never make you regret it. Try that line in your next life. Uh, you. Oh, good. I thought you don't remember me at all. Sorry for not recognizing you sooner. I always thought that you were a boy. You can be a boy's name too. Uh, oh, I see. You're right. Back then, I admired cool heroes and wore hand-me-downs from my older brother. Of course you didn't know I was a girl, huh? What? Wait! You? Then, Yuhi hugged me tightly. Thanks for remembering me. I've always wanted to meet you again, Sora. Long time no see! Me too. For me too. The time I spent with you is irreplaceable. Damn it! What the heck? Goda glares at me with deep hatred. But just then. Snail Coon! Good! I finally found you! Suddenly, a woman rushed into the bar. 
You won't answer me at all. I was worried. Why are you here? GPS? I slipped it in your pocket and it turned out to be useful. Huh? Huh? Nako noticed me and opened her eyes wide. When she saw Yuhi in my arms, her expression changed. Huh? Why are you here? Huh? <gasps> Not only did you take a trophy from me, but also a guy? I thought I'd seen you somewhere before. We were together at a beauty pageant, right? Are you jealous? Shut up! You've only got an okay face, and you are acting like Sora is yours. I'd rather get back together with him than give him to you. Yes, Nako was also one of the participants in the college beauty patient, and she was defeated by Yuhi. Hey, stop! There's no way I'll get back together with you, and it's none of your business. Even though there are no other customers, I can't cause any more commotion here. When I try to continue speaking, that guy here. Tema came out from the back of the bar. Nako's eyes widened when she saw me in his uniform. Well, this is Tema's bar. Tema, I'm sorry for causing a commotion. I'll be leaving right away. Tema stopped me with his hand. Apparently, it's fine because the entire bar is reserved for us tonight. No wonder there's nobody else. No way. Own a bar even though you are deaf? That's impossible! Stop making boring jokes! Hey, I really won't forgive you if you say anything more. Tenma is my best friend. Don't insult him! I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? I'm Tenma Rurikawa, Sora's best friend and the owner of this bar. As a side job, I'm the son of the Rurikawa conglomerate. Huh? Nako reads Tenma's text and is stunned. I add with a wry smile. How is that your side job? This bar, Tenma's father gave it to him for his birthday. Hey, Sora, I have something to tell you. I have a dream. I still vividly remember the day he told me that. It was after I had taken notes for him several times. I like books and drinking. I want to run a book bar someday. But since I can't hear, I think it might be difficult. My father also says that in a roundabout way. Tema smiled sadly. I knew from the look on his face that this was definitely a dream that he really wanted to make come true. That's amazing, Tema! That's the best dream I've ever heard of! Sora? Then I'll help you. If it's the two of us, we can complement each other's weaknesses, right? I like books and drinking too. Let me in. If it's with you, I would love to try it. Sora... Thank you. I'm really happy to have met you. That's how we started our journey as student entrepreneurs together. So I work here too, as a co-owner. What? What the heck? You never told me that! The conglomerate story has nothing to do with you. And no matter how many times I invited you here, you wouldn't show up. Well, no wonder, huh? You actually didn't like books at all. It's not like only book lovers come here, but it's probably a boring place for you. Well, that's that, but more than that. Just as I was about to say more, Tenma suddenly walked up to Nako and Goda. Those eyes were sharper than anything I've ever seen. <sighs> Tenma glared at the two with terrifying expression on his face. An aura that overwhelms others. It may have been something he inherited from his father, who runs a conglomerate. Don't, Don't just stand, stand there and apologize, and apologize to, to Sora. <laughs> I'm so sorry! As they screamed that, Nako and Goda ran out of the bar. Afterwards, Yuhi and I exchanged drinks in the reserved bar. Then, Yuhi handed me a book. Oh, this? It's the book I picked up when I bumped into her, Prince of the Sky. you gave me. I've always cherished it. It was like my talisman. That day, Yuhi was crying while holding the messed up Prince of the Sky. I wanted to make her smile, so I gave her the same book I had with me. I'm glad I met you in that place that day. I was happiest when you read me books. Sora, thank you 
for making me your best friend. And from now on, if possible, I want to be with you as a woman. Oh, that's... Uh, I think I will need a bit more time. Yeah? How disappointing. I thought you would definitely go out with me. Then, Temma, who was watching us from behind the counter, handed me a note along with a cocktail. Huh? What? Prompted by a smiling Temma, I accept the memo. When I looked, I saw neatly handwritten letters. I want to hear your voice clearly in my next life. Your kindness is my treasure. Temma, you! Huh? Sora, are you crying? No! No, I'm not! What? You didn't cry when you reunited with me. I lost to Tenma Kun. Yuhi makes a fuss. It made me happy to see that nothing had changed from back then. After that, Snow and Nako naturally broke up. Before they knew it, their bad reputation had spread throughout the campus, and they were forced to live a quiet student life. Then, a few years later, job hunting began. Even though they both hoped to get a job in their hometown, they ended up jobless. Goda is said to have been heartbroken after his mother said, After all, he's not like Tasugaru-san's son. Nako also became a binge drinker and eater from stress. She no longer has the good looks she once had, and none of the good-looking guys that she loves are interested in her. The reason why the two hit the rock bottom is probably because they incurred the wrath of Temma. I guess they ran out of luck. After graduating from college, I started working full-time as a co-owner of Temma's book bar. As for Yuhi Asahina, she asked me out continuously for several years, and now she has won the position of my best friend and lover. By the way, she had a family member who needed sign language, so she has mastered the language. When she was little, she made me read a sign language book once. That was because she wanted to talk to that person. Temma, who recognized Yuhi's skills, hired her at the bar. Our bar is now loved by a wide range of customers. How oh, nostalgic! The sunset from here hasn't changed. You're right. Yuhi has always been beautiful here. Is that about me? No, no, no! Uh, I didn't mean that! <laughs> You don't have to be so embarrassed. Then, Temma came all smiling. He suddenly spoke to Yuhi in sign language. Huh? Oh, Sora. I love you. She suddenly mutters her love for me. Huh? Hey, Temma! What did you say to her? Temma smiles happily. Jeez, what has he done? Oh crap, what the heck? I'll definitely master the language too! He always told me that he couldn't forget the person he met in the park when he was a kid. I wonder if he'll get angry if he finds out that I told that to her. <laughs> Our five senses provide us with a variety of information. In a world where not everything is what you see, the world I see may be different from the world you see. Still, the scenery and thoughts you receive from your loved ones will definitely color your world. I want to continue living in a world where the people I care about smile. Hi hi, it's Brittany. I hope you enjoyed this story because I did. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>